Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday. It feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday after the holiday. And I was, of course, like everybody does, thinking in my head, kind of planning out my week this week, this morning, and everything before I knew it, it was Friday. And I was not going to have another chance to make a video. So, as I was running around doing stuff today, I thought, you know, I always, you know, think of these things that I want to tell you, either just things like, you know, weight loss, just different little feelings that I have that I want to share, like motivational type things or what motivates me, um, different of uh, some of my favorite things that I love. And so today I thought I would just come out here on my back porch and do kind of like a vlog and put it all together and see how it goes. So first of all, I just went and got a drink. This is one of my very favorite things to drink and it's Propel, and it is not water, but it is a water drink. They call it the workout water. Zero calories, water beverage with vitamins. And our fl favorite flavor is Kiwi Strawberry. And John likes the grape. I can drink the grape too, but we do not like the red cherry, I think. Black cherry, black cherry, we do not like those. But something that I have figured out that I like, I went to the beach with a friend last week. We went and walked the loop, and then we went to the beach and she had a bag of cherries just you know like I mean classic cherries with the pits in them and she had gotten them from Costco and they were so good it was like eating like little plums and so John got me some at the grocery store the other night when he went he's gotten where he likes to go to the grocery store and so I let him go because kitty litter and drinks and all that kind of stuff gets heavy and he, like I've told you before, he's kind of a health nut. He likes to pick out different things that he's been reading about or he's into broccoli right now and just different things. I could do a whole other video on that. But so that's one thing I wanted to say too. It's kind of, it's probably a lot easier for me to stay motivated to eat healthy with him because, you know, even when he eats, junk food like pizza or something like that he doesn't eat a lot of it and he's very aware of it so the next meal he eats will be very healthy and he does work out three times a week and you know so he and he keeps up on his health he's he's not the typical man when it comes to going to the doctor he goes to the doctor and gets his checkups and um, I'm thirsty so I'm gonna take a quick drink of this. Okay one thing <laughs> I was gonna say too is I can just after you've done these videos for a while, when you say something, you can just predict what people are going to say. And a lot of people are going to say, oh, this isn't the same as drinking water. It's got the artificial sweetener, all that kind of stuff. I'm aware of that. But it's also better for you than Diet Sun Drop, which is what I was drinking. And what I do is try to alternate this with water. So it was just... I was thirsty and it was I actually was going to get a diet sun drop that's what I was thinking of getting and I saw that and I thought well I'll get that instead so okay one thing that I wanted to tell you about here comes sassy I knew they were gonna have a fit with me being out here on the back porch um, one thing I wanted to tell you about and I took a picture of my fingernails on the beach yesterday and they are just so I did such a poor job of painting them and right after I painted them Brooke wanted me to do something. I cannot remember what it was, but I have finally gotten through my head that I need to put in wheels rubber bands before I paint my fingernails because that used to mess them up every time. Now, I can't remember what it was she had me do. You know what? I think I was folding clothes or something and I messed them up. But I will still put that picture at the end of this video so you can at least get a, an idea of the color. But I use this for the first time, and it is the OPI Lincoln Park After Midnight. I don't know if you remember, I got this a couple weeks ago. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. It is like the perfect, you can't see, the lighting's not that great out here. I'm just using the natural afternoon light. But it's just the perfect dark purpley tone. Just with the perfect amount of creamy shimmer. It's just gorgeous. It is just the prettiest color I like it better than the Lincoln Park After Dark, but I especially like it better for the summertime. So I wanted to tell you about that. Then Lori, you know, sent me this satin body and bath oil. 
and it's Bonnie Holmes and um, I believe it is sweet almond oil, apricot, kernel oil, sunflower oil, whole wheat, protein, natural mango fragrance. You can see how much I have used of it. I have enjoyed this so much. It, the first couple times I did, like they say, I got out of the shower, didn't dry off, put that on when I was wet, and I literally just stood there until I dried. I think I might have just dried my hands off and done some weights or something like that. But the last two times I have used it, I put it on and then, no, what I did, yeah, I put it on wet skin, stood there for, you know, two minutes or so, then I took my towel that I had dried off, no, took my towel, it was a damp towel, so it must have been the one I took out of my hair, and I just kind of patted off a little bit so that I'm still, have a lot of that oil left on me, I'm just not, like, soaking wet, and then I put on the lotion that Tammy sent me, which is the Hemp's um, Age Defying Lotion, and it has worked so well and as you can see we went to the beach this weekend and I got a lot of sun and I know I get comments all the time about being in the sun and freckles on my chest and everything like that and you know sometimes things are just the way they are and I had a long talk with myself about that I you know I tried several things and I could do the laser and all that kind of stuff and I might still do it one day but going to the beach is a big part of my life it always has been and that is probably why I got a lot of these freckles and really I don't stand out in this area because if, if you've grown up around a beach town then that's probably how you look we all look you know somewhat tan and freckly and so I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm not going to, I've got a little bit more sun than I wanted to this time. We went to the beach yesterday and it looked like it was getting cloudy. We kept having those clouds kind of pass over and it would get cold and then they would go away. And so I didn't put sunscreen on as much. I put it on one time, but I didn't put it on again and I didn't use as high of a number and stuff like that. And so I got a little bit more than I wanted to, but I enjoyed every minute out there, every minute. And my kids just have the best time, and I load them down. Brooke does not want to get a bit of sun. I think, you know, society is different now. When I was little, getting a sunburn was just part of it. I, I can remember my grandmother and my mom putting copper tone on us, but we still got burnt a lot of times because we were out there all day. I mean, I can just remember being out there till 4.30 or 5 o'clock. And it just wasn't, skin cancer and stuff wasn't as prominent, it wasn't as talked about. And, you know, we didn't know as much about it back then. But I definitely do, you know, coat my kids down. Matter of fact, Will could use some sun. He looks like a little ghost. But I, that Copper Tone spray works very well for them. So, and Brooke even had the towel over her legs yesterday just to make sure. So, I mean, it's a decision I make for myself, not for them and um i just love it so that was one thing and i don't know where i was going with this whole oh yesterday at the beach i just noticed i didn't have anything on my legs and my skin was just like glistening and the only thing i could think of is because i had just put this on the night either the night before or the night before that might have been no it was the night before the night before and um so thank you again lori for this i love it and when i run out i will be getting some more because i have tried several other oils like the neutrogena and the wild rose which i like that one but you have to both of those have a pretty strong smell and that one doesn't have a very strong smell at all so i really really love it okay another thing i thought i would do is show you i went to victoria's trying secret to today. motivate you and I just want you, when something makes me happy, I want you to feel that same happiness. And um, so this is something that I guess kind of made me happy. And it was that my bathing suits that are I have worn forever, because I wear the same ones over and over, it seems like, every year until they wear out. I, when I was losing weight this year, you know, I never even thought about you know getting a new bathing suit because I always think well my other bathing suits will just fit me better what has gotten to the point where my bathing suit is too big it's too big even in my chest area because you know you lose so much weight just like even around your ribs and stuff and the bottom was getting too big 
and I just thought, you know, I, I am going to wear what I want to wear. I'm not going to worry about what somebody else thinks. The only person that I care about what they think is John, and I do care about what my children think. You know, I, I don't want to, I'm certainly not going to go out with a thong on or something. <laughs> That's a funny thought, but, but, <laughs> being the key word, <laughs> but anyway, this is another thing, before I get to showing you my new bathing suit bottoms that I got, and my new bathing suit top, both of those were too big, and so I decided I was going to Victoria's Secret today, and just getting some new ones, a couple of new ones to wear, this is one thing that I wanted to kind of tell you, I think different things pop in my head, things that motivate me. And this is one of the things that I have changed about ways that I get motivated. And I've always been one, you guys know I love to look at magazines, Instagram, Pinterest, anything I'm thinking about, I will just Google celebrities in bikinis or something like that. And so I think that's how I started out with celebrities in bikinis. And I just noticed that unless they were... A, a, a bikini model like Miranda Kerr, um, Giselle, um, what are the other ones, Alessandra, all those, unless they were a bikini model, they were not, they're not perfect, you know what I mean, nobody is perfect, and even they're not perfect, and also, I decided, you know, a long time ago, I decided not to compare myself to how I looked when I was 25 or, you know, whatever. Because I've almost gotten down to the weight that I was when I met John. But I know I don't look the same because I've had two kids and I'm older. And I just thought, you know, Lisa, you wouldn't compare yourself to a 25-year-old girl. Why would you compare yourself to your own 25-year-old girl self, you know? So I've been good about that. And then it kind of hit me. I looked up, I think, Kate Moss in a bikini and realized when I looked up women my own age, that is what, it's not that I need to be comparing myself to them, but that is, that will bring you back into reality. And I'm not saying that they don't look good, but it is more of a realistic expectation. And when you do that, you feel better, and it's motivating to me. It's like, you know, I don't know. And another thing that's motivating is to see them, I don't know, when you see a model that's in her 20s, like when you see Kim Kardashian on the beach, you can tell she is just worried, not worried, but concerned about how she looks. She's got the matching jewelry. She has got the perfect bathing suit. And then you can look at a, a model or a a star, a celebrity, anybody, Halle Berry, um, Kate Moss, Stephanie Seymour, I'm trying to think of people I've seen in bathing suit pictures lately, Pamela Anderson, that was a good one to look up. That was a realistic because even though she's got a fabulous body, it's so good to see that when people, even though they're thin, they're still not perfect. And I can remember reading an article by Cindy Crawford saying, it is very unrealistic to think of not having any cellulite or any stretch marks or any wrinkles or any all the things that we worry about and so if you are trying to be motivated trying to lose weight trying to get in shape like I am make sure that you're comparing apples to apples and not apples to oranges <laughs> and you know ease up on yourself a little bit you know and celebrate every milestone. I mean, when I first got motivated, Colleen Rothschild and I decided we were doing Project 10 Pounds. And that was my goal. And when I hit 10 pounds, I celebrated by, I don't know, I, I, it's not that I bought anything special. I don't know, I guess it just felt good to accomplish something, to set a goal and to accomplish it. And then I thought, well, I really felt good so that was probably 136. Then I, I thought to myself, well, I really felt good at 133. And the diet that I am, I'm not really on a diet. I'm just eating healthy. And I am just going to keep on eating healthy. And wherever I end up stopping is wherever I stop. And I've been exercising probably more than I ever have. And I've been doing realistic exercises 
no climbing ropes or you know anything crazy I have been walking about three miles at least two to three times a week um, like last night John walked in and I was watching Housewives of the OC and I was doing lunges the whole time I was watching them and I do like three sets of 15 and then I was doing um, like a I call them a butt scrunch when you put your you, you know bend your knees on the floor and then you pull up and hold your bottom in for one minute and just different things like that and it's amazing the results that I have seen from such little enjoyable things that I've been able to do yet I haven't had to live at the gym I haven't had to be Mrs. Fitness and run around in fitness clothes all day all the things I haven't had to put my hair in a ponytail every day I haven't had to wear tennis shoes every day just things that I didn't think were possible and um, so that's another thing is there's just so many exercises there's you can do at home. a lot of things you can do without having to buy a lot of things or spend a lot of time I have just enjoyed my free weights I just moved up from my five pounds to my eight pounds and I've got a long way to go but it's been fun seeing the transition in my body and so much better than I did it feels so good to not feel bloated to not feel like I don't have anything to wear to not I don't feel held back by things there's just I mean there's certain things I'm not going to wear but then you know there's certain things I can wear that I never could so that is part of my motivation I wanted you to make sure that you're being realistic with your goals and make sure that you're staying motivated pictures. silly um, pictures like I mean just different pictures of people I don't even know who they are on Instagram I would screenshot them and for some reason it would keep me motivated I found an old picture of myself after I had Will when I had gotten down really thin and it's like I didn't even remember being that thin so I've, I took a picture of it and I've kept it on my phone different things to keep me motivated so now I really don't find it hard I have those two cheat nights a week that I look forward to I don't cheat the whole weekend I just it's so good like on Friday night I have this strawberry shortcake that is seasonal they only have it in the summertime and then on Wednesday Tuesday or Wednesday nights I have that fudge brownie and I've gotten to where that isn't even as big of a thrill anymore so I don't even know if I'm going to continue to have that I might just get just my bean burrito or something like that but anyway so I wanted to show you the bathing suit bottoms and top that I got today okay and for reference the ones that I had were just regular bikinis from Victoria's Secret they have the um, I actually got the same ones for Brooke they've got a kind of a thick side it's kind of gathered and then just plain sides and I just I always get black and then I mix whatever bathing suit up and that's what you'll notice when you see pictures of like Stephanie Seymour Kate Moss Pamela Anderson any Halle Berry um, any of the models that are like 40s you'll notice they're not as worried about what their bathing suit looks like and that's kind of how I am I just I like I don't know I kind of like the look of not being so matchy matchy and um, so that's what I had so far and I found myself it was just too big the top just kept falling down it was to the point where I almost needed to tie the back instead of just hook it and the bottoms were getting too big they were not saggy but not tight they had like room they were like wrinkling on the back so today I went and got I tried actually tried some stuff on today but I got this top and I'm going to take it's so hard to find a top without padding and um, so I got this one in the pink section and it wasn't expensive it was um, $26.50 and because I tried on some other ones that were like 60 some and I just it wasn't worth it to me so I got this top and I did get the medium um, I tried on the large and it was too big so even though this when you take the padding out it does not cover all my boobs it covers enough so and I just love how plain it is and I'll be honest this is the bandeau top is not my favorite I think that I look much better in a triangle but top I've already been wearing a bandeau top they did not have a plain I want a real plain I might even look on like forever 21 or go to wings or something like that but um they didn't have they I'll didn't have um <laughs> anything real plain so I just got this and I think it's you know pretty plain so today and then I bought these 
and they are like the little ruffly and they are the cheekies <laughs> which I would have never in a million years thought that I would have been able to wear these but the girl suggested them to me and I went and tried them on and they matched the exact bikini line where I had been pulling up my other ones because when I laid on when I lay on my stomach a lot of times you know my whole butt's you know covered and it's like crinkling up so I had been like you know I think all of us do that we pull up our bathing suit a little bit and this matched those tan lines perfectly and it's a small and it just fit perfectly and though I don't have like this perfect you know um, fit perfect bottom I have just about gotten rid of all of my um, what did John say he said baby look at your butt he said you don't have any what did he say he said it's so smooth you don't have any he didn't say dimples oh he said he said baby look at your butt you don't have any dents in it <laughs> so I'm just about dent free and so I'm just celebrating with a new bathing suit so I got this one and then the, the girl talked me into trying on this, and I loved it. And it is the Itsy Bitsy. And I did have to get this in a medium. I tried on the small, but it was just too Itsy Bitsy. And it is one of these that just comes up in the top and then comes up in the back. And it is a little skimpier, and I may not even wear this. But, but to be in the key word again... I was celebrating the fact that I could and it was there were 20 it was $22 and I had a coupon for X amount off of a $75 purchase or something like that so I am excited and they didn't have the black or anything so I got this because I felt like this would go with the black bottoms and so I'm pretty excited and I guess I ordinarily I wouldn't have shown this to you but I'm hoping to motivate so you. I eat salads every day every single day I eat a salad with grilled chicken on it sometimes fried chicken most of the time grilled chicken and every night I eat um, some type of vegetable and fruit every single night and then I have either a carb smart ice cream bar or a little um, section like a little block of Hershey's special dark chocolate or some other kind of dark chocolate and then I, I bought a new bra to try and I don't know if you guys have ever tried this but I haven't tried it yet but you know I love the my favorite all-time bra is the Body by Victoria unlined demi lace and I saw this today and it is made almost just like that it is the unlined demi Oh goodness I can't remember I've never tried it on and she said that a lot of people that like it's called the fabulous by Victoria's Secret unlined semi demi I don't know if I'm gonna like that or not because I always like demi but I'm gonna try it and it's smooth so a lot of times usually that lace doesn't bother me but sometimes I want a smooth one so I thought I would try this and I'll let you know on Friday how it goes but it just looked like a good one and I had a $15 off of a bra purchase and gosh these little um itsy bitsy or oh these bathing suit bottoms right here the little um, cheeky ones were only $18.50 so that's worth it even if I just wear it when nobody's out there if I'm by myself so um, I'm waiting for Brooke to come so in the door. is that all that I wanted to tell you today I have like no accessories on I am just you know this is it I, I am wearing I don't know if you can see but I'm wearing the fit me foundation and powder I just love that stuff I have it on right by itself today and one of you told me to use the real techniques multitask brush that's got a pink handle I thought I had every one of those brushes but I didn't so I bought that today at Ulta and I'll see how that goes you know using it with that and I used my it palette and my je ne sais quoi gloss which is just so easy and so you know just so quick so to put on. I guys, I'm gonna let you go rest of your week I hope that I have just said maybe one little thing to motivate you to feel the best that you can feel and you know 
I get a lot of times I'll get the best compliment that I have confidence and I think to myself I do <laughs> because I have insecurities just like we all do it's just that I think I'm probably older than some of you and so I've kind of worked through all those insecurities and I think most of all you get to a point where you realize who whose opinion matters to you and what is really important and what is important to you and though I love clothes I love looking good just being out there it's like losing this weight and feeling good about myself made me more prone to want to get up and go get in the water with my children or get up and go for a walk um, it made me want to go to the beach more whereas before I might have said no let's just go to a movie or let's just go eat lunch or something like that and it's just amazing that when you feel good about yourself how it just it just it's not a selfish thing it is a wonderful thing and yesterday they were laughing at me because I was just sitting there I was thinking oh my god I just kept telling them I'm in paradise I mean there was like no other place I'd rather be than with them on the beach in the sun with the wind blowing and looking forward to the whole summer I kept I told him I said I kept thinking school's out and then I would you know snap back into reality but we only have three weeks left and I just can't wait till we get out of school and John's got a bunch of vacation saved up and just I'm just so looking forward to it and I want you to feel the same way I don't want you to feel like I did last summer where you're just kind of like it's almost like you don't even know it you don't even know that it's holding you back and you don't even know that you don't feel good and um, so I hope that I can motivate you in some way and I hope that I want you to feel the best you have ever felt and I think that all women are beautiful in every size I just want you to feel good and I just skin. did not feel good and when I had a bunch of weight just hanging off of me because I don't have a big frame to carry a lot of extra weight and so it made me feel bad physically and um, so goodness gracious I could go on and on so I hope you guys have a good night and I will see you real soon bye bye